How we doing everyone? I'm Obscure Ghost and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'll be talking about be the best tips and ways to level up inside of Cerberus 2 on floors 8 through 9, episode 4. So if you guys are hyped, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm Obscure Ghost and let's get started. Okay, so real quick announcement, like I have been saying for these past couple days, if you guys, if that these videos are pre-recorded and they are recorded and edited but the, they will be scheduled so they will be covering so I will not be live streaming during these weeks so these videos are here to help you guys get ready for the update coming in two weeks so um yeah anyway so let's get back into the video Okay, so in today's video, I'll be talking about best ways to level up for floor 8 and floor 9. So in this episode, I will be introducing something called, I'll be introducing AFK overnight strategies. And that will be later on in the video. So, okay, so for this one, so for this episode, I will be using a maxed I'll be using a maxed Dragon Skull Rogue. Here are its stats. It is a level 75 legendary armor. The first ever legendary armor in the game. And then I will also be using Valikaz. And it is a legendary katana. You get it at level 75 from this floor. It is a one in two it is a one in two thousand chance, so um yeah for both of them so yeah they're you know so i'll be using these all right so to this floor there's not much to it other than the best way to farm is in the maze so i will show you guys how to get there using my uh 75 leaf daggers so i'm um, it's pretty simple you just go around this pond hit that gate that's right in front and boom you're there and to do this for all you guys gotta do is just you know so these pedal knights these pedal knights are actually very good for exp and like very like very good they drop something called a petal cloak a petal cloak is level 72 and has really good defense and so it is a rare so meaning it's like 0 0.2 or or 0 0.5 which is one in 200. So as you guys can see, I am, so here is the boss tower. These sky ravens are also good as they drop the breeze, which is the fan blade. And so um, that is pretty cool. Okay, now if you wanna get your first weapon that does over 1K damage, I would recommend doing the Aspiration. Yeah, as it is a katana. When maxed, it'll do 1000 in one damage. So, literally, exactly 1k. Alright, so once we. So, since we are in the dungeon, what you guys are gonna wanna do is. And this will work if you have Durandal. But what you guys are gonna wanna do is gather a bunch of these and circle around them now these actually give off some pretty decent experience you'll sometimes you'll see and gain players together these work in a these work best in a group of two and for this one all you got to do is just you know and if you don't all you got to do is just just use your move and you'll be over. So by this time you should be about level 7, 70, 75. 
and also in the last video I did forget something and that is going to be the heal skill. So with the heal skill, it allows you to heal but it uses up half of your stamina. It uses up half of your stamina. So as you can see I just healed myself. So, so these work best but Um, so as you can see, two of us are taking it down. We're getting, you're, we're getting about three or four thousand experience from doing just this. So that is going to be pretty nice. So all you guys got to do for this is just circle around the mobs. Boom. And yeah, so now these, uh, Dungeon Crusaders They are one of the Now they are actually pretty easy to kill as they are a robot type thing So and they actually drop quite a few things they drop a council and An armor now. I don't remember what the armor is off the top of my head, but um, Yeah I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we received a drop. That is from the Forest Wanderer. But we almost died, so I so I decided to take out my. Uh, Valley cause and um, yeah this drop is is the is a two-handed and yeah so now this is where I will be so now this is where I will also be introducing game passes now if you may not notice a lot of end game players have attention to have a tend to have different animations like I've been using for this entire series they all have a game pass they all have a game pass so this is the ninja this is the ninja one for the katanas there is no rapier animation this is the dual wield which is the one where I've been doing it now for two hand and for two hand this is what the two hand game pass looks like it is so much easier because with this game pass it allows you to do something that a lot of players don't know how and that is double hit boom 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 and in floor 9 and 10 you're especially going to want these game passes so I'm going to be introducing them and then if you just use one this one is just for range this one is mainly for range but works the exact same way so yeah so I'm going to get back to my so okay so now this is going to be floor Floor 8 boss. So the Floor 8 boss. This boss is the first boss in the game to drop two legendaries. The ones I explained at the beginning of the video. But it has the longest spawn rate in the entire game. It has the longest spawn rate in the entire game. With almost four minutes so I'll time-lapse until it gets here but while you wait for the boss these Crusaders are actually very easy to kill as they only have 40,000 HP they only have 40,000 HP so they're very 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 easy to kill so I'll time lapse 
out time lapse until we either get a drop from these crusaders or the boss. Let's get it. Alright, so this is the boss. It is Formog the Jungle Giant. It has just it has just under 800,000 HP, so you need to do a lot of crit damage. And this is also where you will mainly get a bunch of yellow text. Now, if you don't know what yellow text is, yellow text is crits. So, is crits and crit stacks. So, I was able to get the kill, which means we can now go to floor 9. Floor 9. Alright, so in floor 9, this is now where I will be talking about sleep, about overnight grinding. So, overnight grinding, if. and. overnight grinding. This will work in Avalanche Expanse or Valrock. Now that you're such a higher level, you can. And that one. Uh, and there is nothing wrong with the. AFK farming so the uh, video I released on the video I released on uh, Thursday where I introduced floor 3 and floor 4 that room will be the uh, one room where you can AFK so for this one for so for this floor I will be use I will be using a chaos armor as well as life as well as life blades and hell revere. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy back his stuff and uh, shout out to Golden Coral Nuggets for letting me use his stuff for the video. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Chaos Play Mail, which is right here. This is maxed. It does this amount of defense. Has a total of 10,000 defense and the Rinimer, which will be, which is right here. This has a chance. It does 2,172 damage. So I'll be using these Life Blade and Hell Rev. So for this one, there's so many legendaries in. There's over 10 legendaries in this floor. A lot of them dropped by the boss. I will show you guys each. But first off, let me show you guys the new. Let me show you guys the best sleeping. Like best the best overnight grind while you sleep. Okay, so for it to go here, all you're gonna wanna do is just come down the bridge and just go right and just go right here. And you will see a bunch of players target this thing. And you can just set set like an auto clicker. You can just set like an auto clicker and grind overnight. But I recommend using range and you will get a ton of levels and stuff overnight including a bunch of commons such as slayer's plate and and rares as well such as shatterthorn and rego and whatnot so that's pretty cool and then you can use those for like comp crystals or whatever so this is one of the best locations and it has a spawn rate of 20 seconds so so that you're getting a ton of exp 
experience at one time so yeah so you can just set an auto clicker I'll have a link to in the auto clicker I use in the description below so all right so one so for this floor I'm just gonna say one of the mini bosses this is the first floor to include over 10 legendaries and one of and the first floor as well to include a mini boss that drops legendaries so on the time lapse to the mini to the mini boss that drops the legendaries it is called the gargoyle reaper feel free to slow down the video at any time to see where we are going let's get it Alright, so as you guys can see, we are currently at the mini boss, and this is called the Gargoyle Reaper. Now, it is one of the hardest bosses, mini bosses in the game, especially to solo, so I'm gonna be using. So I'm not gonna be fighting it, but I'll fight it until I die. Let's get it. So as you can see we died fighting it so here is its stats on screen and yeah all right so now to the boss now the boss is actually very very far away as this is one of the biggest maps in the game so I'm gonna go ahead time lapse feel free to feel free to uh, put the video you know and feel free to put the video on slow motion you know, and here we go And so we are now at the tower, and the tower is actually bigger than how it, how long it took to just get to it. So feel free to enjoy the time lapse. Here we go. Alright, and we are at the boss room, so this is the boss room, and I'll be in here, I'll be using Hell Rev for the crit. So, so th there's a lot of people here, this is the first boss in the entire game to have over a million health. So, um... I'll be using I'll rev here. So there's the boss and let's get it. And also these this tree skill 
you are able to get it from floor eight as I did forget to mention it so um yeah and this boss is very hard to kill especially to solo it's possible but it takes a while including with floor 11 legends that are maxed and so So as you can see, I almost died. And as you guys can also see, we did get the uh, kill, so that's, that's pretty cool. As well as a drop, so yeah, so. Okay, so now, so there is, I'm just gonna say the only place to AFK is the one tree I showed you earlier. And so that's pretty much the only place to AFK in this floor. So um, yeah, make sure, now let me show you guys Transylvania really quick. All right, so this is Transylvania, and I will cover this, and I will cover this in another video. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead, go ahead, uh, drop a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let me know what your favorite episode of the series is so far, as as we have one more episode coming, actually two more. So, um, yeah, let me know what your favorite episode is so far. I'm Obscured Ghost, and we out signing off saying stay golden, everyone. Peace, guys. See you. Bye-bye.